Hi well, there, welcome to the Cold Bike YouTube channel. Today we're going to insulate some grips on uh, a fat bike here because we're taking it out in the cold and these metal parts of the grips, when you put your hands on them, they really suck the heat out of your hands. So to avoid that, I'm just going to put a piece, this is a, a, a piece of craft form, a, a foam that I got from the, the craft supply store and uh, I just I cut it out to shape. These are shaped grips. Maybe uh, let me get a closer look here. These are shaped grips, so I cut it in kind of a triangular shape. The only really important part on this is that you don't want the seam of this foam to be where your hand sits, or you'll have your hand sitting on a on a kind of a ledge of, of foam, and that'll be less pleasant than it needs to be. And then I just wrap it around here, and I try not to have much overlap or anything but I I try to have my seam right at the bottom where my hand doesn't go then once I get it on there I already cut a piece of this two inch down to one inch heat shrinkable tube and I cut it to size I'm just gonna slip it over the top here Make sure my insulation is all the way out to this back end here. Then I'm gonna grab the heat gun, just start blowing on that. I like to shrink it down at the front end here first next to the brake lever and that helps hold it so that it doesn't slip backwards off there as I shrink it down. Alright, once that's shrunk down, I'm just going to let that Cool down a little bit, and then we're gonna use this pair of scissors to cut around the edge so it's a little less unsightly uh, heat shrink tubing sticking over the edge. But I want to leave a little lip here so that it holds on, stops it from moving around while I'm riding. You don't have to use craft foam for the insulation. Neoprene works if you have a, an old neoprene mouse pad or uh, you can also use uh, beer cozies, old diving socks, cut up an old wetsuit to get that neoprene. Any closed cell foam will work as long as it's thin enough. needs to be insulating carpet underlay I've used and uh, hardwood flooring uh, padded insulated under underlay and so there I'm done I still have the end of the tube exposed so I can put my pogies on there and mount the pogies but other than that we're ready to go and that's a, a much more comfortable way to put my hands than than having the, uh, the bare metal and that's all for today.